Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Nautabot Community Meeting for February 2023. PRs keep landing against our next branch, getting us closer and closer to Nautabot 2.0. We have a few new changes coming in 2.0 that have landed and we wanted to share with you today. After a demo of one such new feature, prefix types, we have a few other announcements to share with you. Let's start with a demo of prefix types. Hi, my name is Gary, and I'm going to demonstrate some of the IPAM changes coming in the next alpha of Nautabot 2.0. The aggregate model is going to be removed, and all of its data will be migrated over to the prefix model. On the screen, I'm showing an aggregate on the left and its migrated prefix on the right. You can see we've added the RIR relationship to prefix to support this change, and we've renamed the date added field to date allocated. The state field also changes to a date time field in 2.0. There's a new type property on prefix. If we edit this prefix, you can see that we can set the type to container, network, or pool. As a result of this change, the is pool property was removed. And since container is no longer a status, you can set the status appropriately for your container prefixes. Regarding initial announcements, we also wanted to give you updates on the recent CVE that was published, a change to our deprecation policy, and a few other 2.0 announcements. Let's start with the CVE. You may already be aware of the urgent security update and disclosure we published with Nautabot 1.5.7. We want to thank the security researcher for helping us identify this issue and working with us to get it resolved. We have requested a formal CVE recognition, and that was published earlier this week, CVE 2023-25657. If you are already running 1.5.7 or newer, or he did our workaround recommendations, you should have nothing to worry about. This is more of a formality to help alert anyone who may not have received notice last month. Again, we would like to thank security researchers and the community for helping us sensibly and safely disclose these issues. For more information, you can check out our security disclosure issue 3093. Link will be in the description. Back onto the topic of 2.0, we have switched our favorite NB shell to being powered by Shell Plus. You'll benefit from neat features like autocomplete and a full printout of imported models at the opening of the session. We have revamped the status field of all models that support statuses to reflect the accurate state of the choices, as well as the representation of this field. Previously, the schema and responses hid the fact that these were discrete models and could potentially have you choosing a status based on the schema that wasn't actually available. While this was a bug, this is a breaking change, so we'll come in Nautabot 2.0. Because of changes like this and removing the site and region models, we found our original plans for removing deprecated REST APIs to be too difficult or error prone to implement. With that, we recently published an announcement that we have changed our deprecation policy. Instead of supporting deprecated REST APIs until the next dot two release, we will instead be removing them in 2.0. And while an API may be effectively unchanged from V1 series to V2, we have decided the safer option is to reject requests for V1 representations of the API. If you weren't concerned with the fields that have changed, it will be a simple change to request the V2 representation. Our migration guide and release notes will fully describe what has changed, so please read through it carefully once we release 2.0. Deprecated Python APIs will be kept until 2.2 on a case-by-case -case basis, but again, properties like site no longer exist on device and aren't able to be implemented in a backwards compatible way. A few additional updates to close out this community meeting are, some of you were expecting our first alpha to include an early version of our new UI. For the moment, we are working on the new UI in a separate branch until it can be reasonably functional for enough workflows. You can follow along as we build it in the next-ui-2.0 branch in the repo. We will let you know when we get the first stable-ish version of it into a pre-release build of Nautobot. Also, we are expecting the next alpha to ship in early March, which should include a lot of the IPAM improvements we are making. Please be on the lookout for our announcement of that, as we're really excited to hear your feedback to what's in store there. 
Lastly, if you actively or are looking to contribute to Nautabot, we've baked in even more developer environment improvements, including reduction of code features, as well as speeding up the test startups. That wraps up this month's community meeting. Happy automating. <laughs>